there are a lot of different options when it comes to photo files, so it can be a little bit confusing as to what to use where. Well, I am here to help you out. Hi, I'm Amanda Littlecott, the photo organizer, and I'm all about helping you preserve and share your precious photo and video memories without getting overwhelmed. If you're looking to rediscover life's special moments and protect them for future generations, then be sure to subscribe and click that bell to be notified every time I release a new video. In this video, I am going to talk you through the common image file types and give you an idea of where you should be using each of them. But first, why so many different file formats? Digital devices only understand a code of ones and zeros. To be stored, pictures have to be converted into those ones and zeros. Now, photos have a lot of information that needs to be included, which can make the file sizes really big. So most file formats will compress the data to make the files smaller. Some of the file types will compress all of the data, which is lossless compression. However, some of the file types will remove some of the data to make them smaller, which is called lossy compression. So you end up with different file formats for different uses. Let's understand the different types of file out there so that we can see where we should be using them. JPEG, JPG. JPEG, or Joint Photographic Experts Group File, is the most commonly used format as it works across all platforms. JPEG and JPG are exactly the same file format, but way back when it was first developed, Windows would only accept three characters for file extensions, hence the JPG. They compress really well and maintain most of the detail, and as they work across platforms, they are usually the default format used. PNG PNG, or Portable Network Graphics, as it says in the name, are mostly for graphics. They are usually used for logos or if you want to do some fancy photos with a transparent background or a different color background. And so that you can do that fancy stuff, they tend to be larger files than JPEGs. TIFF. The Tag Image File Format, or TIFF, focuses on high quality images, so it keeps all of the information about your images, but they are not as common as they can be large and slow to load due to all that detail. They are mostly used by photographers who want to have their originals for editing or for scanning so you can edit and correct before converting into a JPEG for storing or sharing. RAW RAW is usually a digital camera saving option alongside JPEG. Unlike the JPEG, it retains all of the information behind your files, so it can be edited similar to the TIFF. The challenge with RAW files is they are not only very large, they are only accessible by specific software. So as an ongoing storage option, they are not commonly used. PSDs. PSD files are Photoshop documents that will only open in Adobe Photoshop. These files keep the layers, edits, and components of any images as you edit them. So you can see the makeup of those changes. But as they will only open in Adobe Photoshop, they are not useful anywhere else. HEIC. HEIC stands for High Efficiency Image Files, and they are basically a static photo with a little short video that you find on iOS Apple devices. Essentially, they are a file format that means you can do some of the Apple fancy photo stuff, like live photos. The problem is, is that HEIC only works on Apple, so to be able to share them across other platforms, you will have to convert them to JPEG. Also, it is the default format that your photos will save to on your iPhone. But did you know you can change that setting? But a word of warning, if you do, you won't be able to do any of the live photo stuff, which is kind of okay with me. To change the settings, simply open up Settings app on your device, select Camera, and go to Formats. Then change from High Efficiency to Most Compatible. And now your camera will take photos as JPEGs. What to use where? But the question is, where should you use each file format? Well, JPEG is an all-round file format that is great as a default, but also for printing. PNG files are great for using online. 
If you want to be able to edit your images, then TIFF or RAW are the way to go. And if you are doing a lot of digital photography and want to be able to edit your files, then RAW file format is the best one to use. If you want to edit and share those edits, PSD format is a great way of showing the layers of your edit. And when it comes to HEIC, they're only really useful if you're going to stay in Apple. So in the long run, it's best to focus on JPEG as they are the most universal file format. But if you want to save it in another format, you can always convert your files later. So there you have it, which file types to use and where. What other file types do you use and where do you use them? Leave them in the comments below. Are you confused about which is the best cloud storage for your photos? Then check out my nifty tool to find the best cloud storage for your photos that can be accessed through the link below. So click through and check it out. If you enjoyed this video, then please go ahead with a like and a share. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.